Uh, Mr. President, enforced disappearances, extrajudicial killings and torture of Baloch political workers, human rights and social activists continue with impunity in Balochistan. Thousands of Baloch youth have gone missing and their whereabouts remain unknown. Hundreds are missing for many years. Thousands of Baloch decomposed, mutilated dead bodies bearing extreme torture marks of missing Baloch have been recovered throughout Balochistan. Yet a single perpetrator has not been brought to justice or punished. In 2006, a veteran Baloch nationalist leader, Nawab Akbar Khan Bukhti, was killed in military operation ordered by the former dictator Parviz Musharraf, who was president and army chief at the time. But this year, in January, a Pakistani kangaroo court acquitted him of Bukhti's murder. Musharraf never appeared in the court during the entire legal process. This is how the so-called Pakistani courts have been providing justice to Baloch people. Instead of bringing the perpetrators to justice, the so-called courts and the legal system is safeguarding and providing the military legal protection so they could carry on human rights violations in Balochistan. This year in January, another prominent Baloch political leader, Dr. Manan Baloch, and four of his companions were murdered when military raided their house in Mustang. Mr. President, the freedom of expression and media comes under severe pressure from both state and non-state actors when it comes to discuss the violations of fundamental rights committed by the military and intelligence agencies. Most of the Baloch websites are blocked in Pakistan, but the extremist jihadi contents are easily accessible. In April 2015, Sabin Maimoud, a well-known Pakistani social and human rights activist, was shot dead in Karachi, shortly after hosting an event on Balochistan titled Disappeared People. Right after Sabin Maimoud's murder, the Lahore University of Management Science had organized a panel discussion entitled Unsilencing Balochistan, but the event was cancelled at short notice after the notorious ISI agency intervened, according to LAMS. On the other hand, fundamentalist religious band outfits and individuals allowed to spread hatred against religious minorities, organize seminars and gatherings anywhere in Pakistan, including the capital. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you very much.